Well, today's edition of Creating Connections is powered by AT&T Business Internet, dedicated internet access that allows us to bring the news to you. The healthcare industry is undergoing a digital transformation to better serve patients wherever they may be. 5G connectivity will play a key role as healthcare moves beyond the traditional to healthcare anywhere, anytime. Joining us to discuss is Joe Drygas, VP of Healthcare Solutions at AT&T Business, and Clara Hustad, AVP of Channel Marketing Industry Solutions at AT&T. Glad to have you both on this morning. Joe, going to start with you. What excites you the most about a 5G-powered future in healthcare? Well, thanks, Alicia. Um, if you think about the last time that you had to use the healthcare system, hopefully you got great care, but the, the whole process probably wasn't set up to make you feel like it was customer friendly. And one of the things that really excites us is we believe that whole experience can change. We believe that as a consumer or patient, the way you get your appointment, the way you show up, the way you can be automatically checked in, not have to go to a desk, the way you can get navigated exactly to the point of care, and even to the point where you can choose your entertainment very seamlessly, kind of changing the experience from a hospital experience more to hospitality. That's from the patient or, or the consumer point of view, but we're also excited about the, the clinician point of view, giving clinicians untethered access to information at the point of care so they can make the best informed decisions for the patients. And then if you think about where this is all going, more and more care is shifting from the hospital to the home. And we really believe that 5G and connectivity will really enable that transformation. So now that you, wherever you are, can get care, can be tracked, can be monitored, and can really start to shift from having to go into a facility to get the care you need to really do it from the comfort of your own home. Yeah, as you're talking about that kind of customer or patient experience being more pleasant than the arduous experience that many of us kind of go through when we when we go into a hospital or see a physician. I was thinking about the flip side of that. On the flip side, it's also alleviates some of the pressure and workload on the, the, the physician or clinician side of things. So to that point, Clara, how can 5G networks and edge computing revolutionize the way that patients, doctors, and researchers kind of connect in the hospital in this more broad kind of experience? Absolutely. So I'll use a personal example. My my husband had a dad injury uh, this December. And as he went through the surgical process, the pre to post-op, I had no idea where he was. And I was asking a million questions. And if you really think about that, you can use technology to help alleviate the nurses really just having to answer these directional questions or where somebody is. And I think about it in terms of like a pizza tracker. You know, if you just know where somebody is in the hospital that you're caring for, you're very concerned. Nothing is more important. But as a nurse, you want to be caring for your patients, not answering questions in the hospital. So some of the things that we're doing that I think is really cool is we're actually embedding a lot of what we call RFIDs or smart sensors into patient wristbands, kind of like you do at a theme park or actually into the bed itself. And what that does for the hospital, it allows you to keep track of your equipment and where it is, as well as the patient and update the clients um, or well, your loved ones. So they know where to go and how to get there. So you're not navigating between different towers kind of on your own. So anything that makes it easier and frictionless for the nurses, doctors, and just the operation staff so that they can actually care for individuals is the most important part of this 5G technology. And then making sure it's secure is incredibly important. You know, your patient data is incredibly secure on 5G um, because you can track the devices that are on there and kick devices off that shouldn't be on that. So that's, in, that's important. And I think anything that makes it easier for our tasked uh, nursing and doctor staff is important to us. I got to tell you, I connect to this so strongly as someone who is soon to be married to a physician. The number one gripe I hear when he comes home is that patients don't understand all the administrative stuff that he has to do. He just wants to be a doctor and see a patient. But so he gets bogged down by all this administrative work, count, you know, trying to track patients, find out this, contact that, the streamlining this would really alleviate a lot of his job workload and be a better experience for the patient. That's something that he advocates for 
on a daily basis. So hearing that that is in the works and there's a technology that really is there to support that is not only great for him, but I imagine for so many physicians out there and then trickles down, of course, to, to a lot of the patients. Joe, pivoting a little bit here, patients fall in hospitals. This is a $50 billion problem in the healthcare industry. How is the power of 5G being utilized to find a solution there? Yeah, absolutely. I'm still thrown off by the pizza comment. I'm, I'm, I'm suddenly <laughs> hungry um, after you said that. Yeah, Alicia, uh, the um, patients falling is a major problem. And, and part of what's exacerbating the issue is there's a real shortage in hospitals today um, with clinicians and nurses. Yeah. And if you think about as you know, we were growing up in all these movies about robots and AI, but that's really becoming a reality in order to stay on top of it in order to provide the best care providers now have to think about using ai and machine learning to substitute some of the work that you would normally have a nurse or a clinician doing in a hospital so to your question um you know we work with a company um and you can see a, a video of it here that provides smart telemonitoring so this solution is actually watching over the patient and detecting if that patient is susceptible to falling and immediately can alert a clinician to go in and, 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 and assist that patient. And that's an example of a technology that you need really reliable, low latency connectivity in order to pair with that solution to make it work. Well, we're kind of running out of time here, so I want to skip ahead a little bit. And Claire, I want to ask you about how 5G network is making remote um, or has, is working, you know, re making remote work easier, especially in this field, even as doctors, you know, perform surgeries remotely. Can you tell us more about this becoming a, a greater possibility? I can't fathom a remote surgery, but but it seems really interesting here. Hey, it's coming. And um, I mean, I'm, I definitely wouldn't want it to be over Wi-Fi. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> but I will say what we learned from a lot of our clients is that radiologists have been sent home during the pandemic. They can actually read their um, results a lot quicker at home. They can provide consultation um, a lot faster and it saves money for the hospital. So you can get that care a lot faster and more accurately because they're getting that in real time with that technology. Um, second, I will say we are very, I would say passionate about remote care because it provides two things, equity of care and um just the capability to reach more individuals. Um, so you want to make sure that you have that uh, connectivity, whether it's our 5G service or our fiber services in those facilities and our remote patient monitoring devices that Joe was talking about. We connect those devices so that the, the vital signs are sent to the clinicians and hospitals remotely, quickly, accurately, and you can keep them out of the hospital so that if it is an acute problem, uh, our hospital can care for those that are really in need and, and don't clog up that emergency department. I also just think, right, patients have gotten used to that over the last two years. We've all, as a society, gotten used to more of a hybrid model or doing things more remotely. And so healthcare seemingly move into that space with the technology and the support that you guys have there certainly seems to make sense. Really great insight. Really appreciate your time. Joe Dragas, VP Health Healthcare Solutions at at and Business, and Clara Hustad, AVP at Channel Marketing or with Channel Marketing Industry Solutions at at and Business. Remember, at and Business is keeping your business connected with at and 5G, fast, reliable, secure. Visit at and slash network services for more information. Thanks for watching. For more videos from AT&T Business, click subscribe.